I'm Mar. So today we are gonna be exposing Chipotle hacks. Chipotle is my life. I am hungry. I'm Latina. I got a big family. Gotta feed them all. So you best believe if there's a video I am down for, it's this one. I've been waiting for this moment. And let me tell you, Chipotle came through. Oh yes, honey. Chipotle came through in so many ways, but also they did not come through in one way. I'm still pretty pissed at them for one particular thing, but it's all right. It's okay. I'm gonna forgive them because these hacks are so good and you're gonna get so much food out of it. All right, let's go to Chipotle. Hey everyone, we're currently on our way to Chipotle. I'm so excited. Literally been looking forward to this video for the past night. All night I was thinking tomorrow I get to eat Chipotle. I love Chipotle, you guys. Oh my God, I love Chipotle. And these hacks are so freaking good. But we're gonna be hitting different Chipotles because I'm not about to be torturing those employees because for these hacks, I actually have to ask them to do stuff. My plan is the same as always. Ask nicely. Just be like, ma'am, please, can I get some free walk? I'm already like, mm. I don't know how well that's gonna go. But for this video, I'm not gonna tell you to not try these hacks because all of these are things that you can do at Chipotle or at least that's what the Chipotle employees say. They're not like, oh, maybe we'll make an exception. These are things that are well within policy and just little hacks. So this is really the best of all worlds because we don't gotta be Karens. We don't gotta be rude to employees. We just gotta ask nicely and get some free Chipotle. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so hungry. All right, let's go guys. Hack number one. As for double rice and double beans, it's free. <laughs> You can get double and it's free. What this hack is also not telling you is that it's not only double. You can get as many scoops as you want. I didn't want to be too greedy, so I was like, mm, I'm just gonna get triple. Hey, can I have a bowl to go, please? Um, can I have three scoops of brown? Yeah, three. Can I also have three scoops of pinto? Um, can I have chicken, please? Thank you. I asked for my triple scoop of rice and beans. And I'm gonna be honest, the girl at Chipotle seemed just a little bit confused. She was like, triple? Oh, okay. There was just like a little bit of confusion, maybe a little bit of judgment. It's okay, girl. I felt it, but there was no shame in my game. I got a whole family to feed, and you best believe I was gonna feed them with that one bowl. And that hack worked. I was only charged for what a regular chicken bowl would have been, except I got a chicken bowl. It was a whole bowl. You feel me? It wasn't a bowl. It was a bowl. There's a difference. I swear, there's a difference. Hack number two. Ask for a tortilla on the side so you can make another burrito. You know if TikTok says, I have to ask for something, I'm gonna ask. So I did. And then can I also have two tortillas? Two tortillas? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Everyone learn from my mistake. I asked for the tortilla at the very end. You gotta ask for the tortilla when you're getting your bowl. But still, I asked for two tortillas and they gave me those tortillas. They were totally cool with it. Not really sure if there's a limit to tortillas. If there's any Chipotle employees out there, please let me know. And here's a little bonus hack. You can actually combine hack number one and hack number number two and you can make your own burrito you make it at home you got all the ingredients you just uh, dump it on the tortilla and you can make so many burritos honestly i feel like you can make like 20 of them i'm just not sure if you can ask for 20 tortillas you guys i got a burrito we got a little burrito are we gonna eat you all right this is the bowl we got full of rice full of beans and we're about to make a burrito not that burrito it's like an actual burrito we can Oh my god, it's so full. It's so heavy. <gasps> it has so much stuff. That's a lot. There's no way just one person could eat that. So you take your tortilla. Tortilla. I'm Latina. And then you just make yourself your burrito. You can probably make like four of these because there's a lot of food. Just gonna pour that in here. All the cheese, all the chicken. Want some. Look how much there is in here. There's still so much left. I'm feeding my whole family for an entire week with this. Here you go. <laughs> it's a gourmet burrito. We got a burrito and we got a burrito. Burrito, 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 burrito. Those burritos turned out bomb. Hack number three or number four. I'm not sure if you want to count the other extra little hack of combining the two. We're just going to call this three. As for two kinds of meat, I swear they end up giving you more. Ooh. So you ask for half and half meat. And what will happen is that they're maybe not too good at just dividing meats. Hey, I can't judge. I'm definitely not good at that. So it'll just end up giving you more than if you just get one meat. We must explore this hack. Hmm. Hi, how are you? Can I have white? And then can I have half and half? Half chicken and half steak? No beans. This tomatoes also. That's it, yeah. 
All right, you guys, so for science purposes, I got the half and half. And here we go. Here you can see kind of what it looks like. And I got just a regular. And here you can see. I feel like the half and half definitely has more. And also, they had them next to each other. And the girl kind of saw the half and half and she went back and added more steak. So I would say definitely they add more when you do half and half. So get yourself some half and half and eat some more. That's all I ever want to do. Eat more and more and more. Okay, Gordo also says it has more, but here you can compare. I definitely feel that half and half has a lot more meat to it. Hack number four. We also can make you quesadillas and nachos, so just ask for them. Ooh, we can make quesadillas and nachos. We got a whole secret menu here. Yes, Chipotle. So, okay, I need to take a deep breath right now because if I was excited about something at Chipotle, it was the nachos. I was like, yes, ma'am, I need these nachos right now. So I went and I was like, okay, we gotta ask for the quesadilla and we gotta ask for the nachos. First, I asked for my quesadilla. Chicken. Everything was good. Everything was dandy. And then I was like, do you guys have nachos? Oh, uh, do you guys also do nachos? Can I have veggies and chicken? Oh, can I just do more cheese? Yeah, thank you. And I got a look. The guy took a full on deep breath. It was a moment. He had like a spiritual moment when I said nachos. And I was like, yes, all right? You know what I mean? Nachos, I know I get spiritual too when we talking about nachos. But no, that was not the type of moment he was having. I totally read that wrong. It was a deep breath of frustration. So he went on to make the nachos and it was just complicated. It was very confusing. He kind of like poured them, they fell out. They asked me what I wanted on the nachos. And I was confused because I was like, don't they just hum? with something? Can I put everything I want on them? Nobody really explained anything to me. And when I got to the checkout, that is when I was betrayed by Chipotle. My friend, how can my dear old friend Chipotle do this to me? I got rewards. I use the app all the time. I save my receipts and I input the little code into the app. So this was charged as a bowl? Yes, we charged for the bag of chips and then the chicken. Oh. Charged for every two I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> Like so good. For the nachos, they charge you a full bowl and the chips. So basically they take all the ingredients and they charge you for them. But that's not really what you get in the nachos. I kind of feel like this was karma because I took advantage before and I was like, oh, give me all the rice, give me all the beans. And now I have to pay for a full bowl that was just empty. It was just chips. But I tried the quesadilla. And here is the quesadilla. So the chicken quesadilla was 610, which is less than the bowl, but only like a dollar less. Whoa, it's ginormous. <gasps> Oh my god, this looks so good! Alright, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Cheesy. Oh, really good. And I tried the nachos. Here are those freaking nachos. So I feel like I was robbed with these nachos. They charged me for a bowl, like a whole chicken bowl and chips. Nobody warned me about this. Why would you do that? It looks good, but still. And then they charged for the queso too. She said everything was extra. I mean, they do look bomb. So I'm just gonna eat all these by myself because we paying some good money for this. I feel like everything I saved by getting all that rice went to waste with these nachos <laughs> oh my god here we go okay they're good but they're just not that good not like you need them actually they're really good <laughs> yes they were good but just way too expensive betrayed by chipotle betrayal hack number five tear the bag that's a sophisticated way of eating your chips here's the technique I know, I know. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I feel like I'm just bad at ripping this stuff. Here you go. Oh, so sophisticated. The only way to eat chips. I guess that kind of works. But being honest, I'm just gonna keep digging my fingers into the bag and just like walling it in there. This is just too much effort for me. Hack number six. If you want free guac, then just opt out on the meat and get yourself some free guac. Ooh, free guac. Yes, ma'am. This is what I'm talking about. This is the type of hack I came here for. Cause you know when you ask for guac, they just dump it on. They don't even bother telling you it's extra anymore. Should probably be playing you. With those nachos and the guac, they just coming for our wallets. But I had to get myself some free guac. And now so I'm getting a bowl. Can I do like a base with lettuce? Is that the salad then? Okay, I'm just gonna get fajita and then rice. Can I just do wok? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great 
And here we are, you guys. That definitely did work. You can get everything you want on your bowl except for meat. I wasn't sure if I could get veggies, but I went ahead, I tried it, and they did not charge extra for the walk. So I probably could have gotten a lot more stuff on this bowl, but honestly, I already have so much food. I was just like, I'm all right with just this. This is a nice little healthy bowl. Free walk. Now you know. I actually ended up eating that for lunch, but I added some chicken from one of the other bowls. I think it's cool you can get free walk, but you get to sacrifice your chicken or your steak. I am not a vegan or a vegetarian or anything close to that. So I'm not sure how I feel about this hack. Is it really free? You're sacrificing your happiness here. Hack number seven. If you don't have the extra money for chips, then ask for hard shell tacos on the side and break it up and use that as chips. Ooh, we love a crafty hack, honey. Do you want to get like a um, hard taco? Yeah. Did you want a full set or did you want- Just like on the side, yeah. Thank you. Of course I asked for my hard shell taco. They asked me how many I wanted. Not sure if there's a limit. I only got one. I just didn't want to be greedy. So here we go. Here we, I got my heart shell taco and I also got a chip. So I will be performing a test test just for science. Hmm. Exhibit A, the heart shell taco. Mmm, delicious. Exhibit B, the chip. Mmm, delicious. Those taste pretty much the same to me. My taste buds could just be dead. Or maybe Chipotle is lying. And the chips aren't really full of lime and salt like they say. Mmm. Sorry, Chipotle, I love you, but I'm kind of mad at you over those nachos. But yeah, guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know if you'd like to see more food hacks. I've done McDonald's, and I've also done a whole bunch of other places. I've done Walmart, I've done Target, I've even done stuff like Gucci, Louis Vuitton. So yeah, go check out those videos, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye!